And we're back, baby, for Mullet Monday! <laughs> Allie, our new PT, who's specialized or certified in dry needling, has graciously agreed to be back for another episode. So now we are on episode number four of knee pain. Number one, the reason why knee pain occurs is because your knee's bent, not straight. Number two, the reason why pain occurs is because of the soft tissue surrounding the knee joint are inflamed, not the bone on bone or no cartilage or meniscus, whatever it is. Well, asterisk, little fun little asterisk is, when you have a meniscus tear, the only time that you need surgery, in our opinion, is when it tears off completely and that meniscus is floating around in the knee joint. And the way you know that is because your knee will get locked. It will get stuck and it hurts like heck. You cannot straighten it. You can't bend it. It is locked. When that occurs, you need to have surgery for your torn meniscus. If you have a torn meniscus and it doesn't lock, you don't need surgery. Boom! Mike, drop, bam. Okay, number four, or number three was we got the knee straight actively with the glutes and the core laying on the ground. Step number four is we're gonna do the same exact thing standing against gravity and then add one component to it. So facing that way, the first thing we do is exactly what we were doing laying on the floor. So chest way up, Pull the core way in, squeeze the glutes, and pull the knee backwards by squeezing your glutes. So we're not hyperextending the knee, we're pulling the knee backwards by squeezing your butt. Gotta squeeze your butt with your core, so it's chest up, core engaged, pulling the knee back, glutes are firing. Now we got unloading occurring at the knee joint. Allie, you feel all sorts of muscles firing and this feels good. Now, here's what we're gonna do to take it up a notch. Go ahead and just put your hand on here for balance, just for whatever. So keeping the same muscles firing, now Allie is gonna add in some calf contractions, right? So get those heels up like you want to. Keeping the knees straight, the number one thing that people are gonna do as the heels come up is you're gonna bend the knees. Keep them straight by squeezing the glutes, core's engaged, chest is tall, slowly go back down, and then back up again. And you're just gonna do it over and over again, 20, 30 reps. Now watch this, Allie, turn to your right 90 degrees. Yep, there you go. So you can put your hand somewhere again. Do it again, go up. Now to make it even better, make sure you're pushing through the inside of the foot here. So let your feet roll out. So roll out on the outside of the foot. There you go. Do not do this. This is bad. Now fix it. So now we're pushing through the balls of our toe. Our feet are nice and flat. They're not rolling out. The knees are still straight. The glutes are still firing and the core is still working like crazy, baby. And then just up and down, nice and slow, not fast, over and over and over again. Yeah, baby, this is awesome. This is the best thing since sliced bread. And this is number four of getting rid of knee pain. Stay tuned next week because we're going to take it up a notch, baby. Mullet Monday.